Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm back here with a new ColourPop palette. And like I said before, it's been a while since I did a ColourPop haul. So um, I did go ahead and pick up the So Elemental. That's what we're playing with today. And I thought we'd go ahead and get started. I have the Super Good Glow Oil with SPF 50 on as far as my base. I did go ahead and use... Jeez, where'd it go? The, um, here it is, True Match by L'Oreal and C1. And so that's what I have on for my base. And that's a cool base that I have on. <clears throat> Excuse me. As far as what I did for bronzer today, got out the Charlotte Tilbury. This is a Film Star Bronze and Glow. I think this is the light medium one. And so that's what I have on for bronzer today. As far as what I have on for blush, um, I actually did go ahead and mix two of these. Unfortunately, I don't have the shade names on these. They aren't on the pack, or they aren't on the squeeze tubes, and I threw away the packaging. So um, I had this on as far as blush, and this one on as far as highlight, and then I did go ahead and add in the ColourPop, and this is the Seismic highlight as well. So there are all sorts of highlights going on, and so yeah, that's what I have on as far as the blush today. And um, then as far, well, I also have the L'Oreal True Match. This is LM1 as far as my concealer on. And then the, um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, the Essence, and this is going to be the Thick and Wow as far as the eyebrows. As far as the lips, I have So Juicy. And this one is by ColourPop on, and then I went ahead and topped it with the NYX Butter Gloss. Uh, these are the Butter Gloss Bling, and these ones have glitter in them, so they're all sorts of fun. And that's how that came out. As far as the So Elemental palette, this is um, what I have on my eyes today. It's a very cool tone palette. Uh, just came out from ColourPop. It's going into Ulta. I know that it's on their website. I tried to find it in store. I can find it in store, but um, it's definitely on the website probably to be in store pretty soon. So I um, really enjoyed this palette. It has a whole bunch of really fun colors. It has these two beige browns, but they have they have a flip of blue in them, so um, just to let you know on that, they look different in the pan than they actually end up. And let's see if I can do a swatch at all of these. And I think there's supposed to be more base colors here. So that's building it up a little bit, but those are those colors. And again, they do tend to look um, brown or beige in the pan, but they do have a blue flip. So just be aware if, you know, you may need to bring in another palette if you want to go ahead and add some brown into your look, that these are going to turn up more of a gray-blue. So um, as far as what I have on my eyes today, I did go ahead and start with this in the outer corner, this one in the crease. Um, I did go ahead and use this one on the lid, and then this one on the inner corner from here up to here. Uh, this one I actually put right under the brow, and uh, this is a glitter, but it's their new glitter formula, and I put that right in the crease as well. Their new glitter formula is really good. The glitter is really finely milled, and it's very sticky, so it sticks to the eyelid. I don't have to wear um, any glue or you know glitter glue or anything like that with it. So that part I really like. I really think it's a really pretty palette. Um, it's definitely a classic blue palette. I mean, this is pretty much a classic blue look. Um, except for the fact that what I went ahead and used for my eyeliner today is Ventura Boulevard by ColourPop. And so this is one of the multi-chrome eyeliners, and it's what I have on right now. And if you want to go ahead and do a pretty good pairing, these two work really well together. And I think it came out 
It's a pretty good look here. It's very definitely classic, but it kind of, with the multi-chrome on the bottom, you get a little bit of a shift, so you kind of look at it and go, hmm. You know, it makes you take a second look kind of thing. So, um, again, really glad I picked it up. And um, as far as the look, oh, we already did the lips. I think that was, yeah. That's everything. Again, um, really fun, cool palette. And if you want to go really dark blue uh, to a navy look, to a really classic blue look, this is definitely the palette to go ahead and do that with. As opposed to the Twilight palette, where these are much grungier tones. And um, they're going to go more periwinkle. So this uh, So Elemental definitely does blue, navy, light sky blue. So classic, classic blue colors. Twilight takes everything into grungy, and it definitely goes more into the periwinkle end of everything. Um, these don't go purple, and I thought they might go purple. These definitely go periwinkle on the eyes, so uh, there is a difference, and just so you're aware, if you're looking to try to match an outfit or something, um, these will give you two very different blue looks. So, yeah, probably, um, <clears throat> well, anyway, it's good to know. So, <laughs> it may or may not help your day at all. But anyway, thank you, and I hope that you have a great day. Bye.